another movie review. It's nice. Very, very nice. Dear Shamaj, my name is Boat. I'm just kidding. Hey, what's up? Kyle here again. I'm here with my wonderful, beautiful girlfriend Lisa here again. XX Mazo Star XX. Hey guys, what's up? And we're finally back after a, a long time. For, oh, we're very overdue with making a video. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, well, I I, I made a couple of videos in, in the a, a couple of weekends ago doing around the town videos. You know, I've been I sorry I've been making too many of these movie review videos with um and I have I have a few other things in my I, things are going crazy in my mind, but I've been very I've been going through a lot lately. Um, lots has been going on. But um, we're finally here to do another in the room movie review. Yes. And we just got done seeing Borat Two. I don't know what the rest of the title is called, but I'll put it in the in the description. But it's Borat Two, uh, the second Borat movie. Um, substantial something or I, substantial I, film. I don't something know. Like that. But uh, the sec. So we're here to see. We're here to review Borat Two. And um, what'd you think of it? Okay, this is my second time seeing it. Um, I saw it, like, on Friday before I came to his house, I saw it with my friend and my mother, we were cracking up. And, it's, and also, it's available on Amazon Prime. It's only on Amazon Prime, guys. Yeah, uh, it's only on Amazon Prime. Yeah. And it's for, yeah, it's for, it's, 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 for, it's for free if, if you have, like, a uh, Amazon Prime subscription. Yeah, so anyways, what were you saying? I was, um, saying, like, it was actually really, really funny. Um, it got, like, into, like, 2020 stuff, because we need, like, stuff like this in 2020 right now. Like, we've been stuck in quarantine, and pretty much, like, people are, like, either sad or whatever, but now we need, like, a little laughter in our lives. Yeah, I know. Like, we had that South Park, um, pandemic special, that was funny. Yeah, I, I didn't care for it too much, too, too many, they, like, I thought it was, like, Something about it didn't really appeal to me. Like you know, I, I love South Park. I love them. I I just didn't think that episode was very relevant to what, what's going on today. You know. I mean, it was silly. It was silly. Yeah. I mean, like I think they could have done a lot better with 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 the uh, with the episode. Mm. You know. Yeah. I think, but with this though, this was well, ten times hysterical. Yeah, this was ten times hysterical. This thing. Mm. This is a good, this was, this was a really good, this was really funny. Lots of funny moments in this. I've been waiting for a Borat movie for so long, uh, another Sasha, uh, like a sequel to Borat for so long. And Sasha Baron Cohen just always, every time he makes a movie, he never lets me down. He always cracks me up. He's like one of the funniest comedians I've ever ever seen on on screen and he just always blow, blows me away this, blows my mind away he has genius humor yeah like he has it, genius humor he's very genius and he knows how to make a comedy right he knows how to make a comedy right and he knows how to make every, everyone laugh everyone laugh and he knows always about oh yeah so so um he's just really funny really really he, funny guy and, yeah and uh, let's tell what this one's about. So basically, this is the sequel to the 2006 Borat. Oh my god. I can't believe it's saying 2006. 2006 Borat, yeah. I feel this old. This one's very different from the first one. Though, oh, just very, you know. very different. So basically in this... I don't um, know if it's as dirt... Um, it's probably dir a little dirtier than the first one, actually. A little bit dirtier. Oh, yeah. But, um... A lot of more different jokes in this one, like, a lot more is different. Is more jokes that are relevant to today. Yeah, but anyways. Anyways, uh, basically Borat is no longer a hero because pretty much everyone thinks, oh, he's offensive, okay. he's, and basically he has to go back to America to deliver, okay, a pet monkey to the president to make sure that he does a good deed in the United States. So that plan didn't work. So then he sends out his pretty much daughter. Well, 
we didn't find out she's a thorn at the beginning of it. I think she's, I forget the actress's name, but I think I've she's seen a, her in some other movies before. I think, I don't know if she's a newcomer. She or, might be a newcomer, but yeah, I've seen, I think I never I've heard, seen her before, though. But I've seen her, like, in some other movies, though. Mm. But it might be, you know, she just has one of those, like, those, those like, face, like, the... Those faces that look familiar? That look familiar, yeah. But the name doesn't sound familiar. But the name is just, the name doesn't sound familiar. But yeah. the face. The face, like, I've seen her before in some other movies. I can't think of what, though. Yeah, but anyways, basically, basically... She's very beautiful, though. Oh, yeah. Not as beautiful as you, though. <laughs> basically, anyways, um, Borat finds out that he had a daughter, and he gets an idea. Mm -hmm. Basically, he has to get this, guys. Make her a gift to the Vice President Pence. Yeah. And... I can't believe Michael Pence was in this movie too. That's I know. A, that's a crazy thing. How do they? How do they? I don't know how they got the president. Like I don't know how they got Pence in this. Yeah, not not the president, the vice president. But I don't know how they got the vice president in this. But I know. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's a very it's a good theory question, and I'll just say right now, well, I don't want to say any more. Pretty I'm much. not crazy about him, you know. I don't want to get into politics. Yeah, you know? no, like, no politics like any, in this I'm interview. I'm not in, no politics into this interview, but there's a lot of politician, politician and politics into this movie. Yeah, politician like politics in this movie. But there's I think like, like a lot. Of, you know, if you know Borat and his humor, he makes fun of a lot of like you know like relevant, relevant like situation. There's a lot of like people like real situations with real people and like a lot of, like you know like behind the behind the camera like things like when he goes on the streets and he pranks. people. <laughs> people and stuff so he does that in this too yeah i think sasha barry cohen definitely did his homework yeah so what were you saying i was saying like he definitely did his homework yeah yeah basically um this movie in general officer is like really very really nice very nice yes. and very very relevant to today pretty much in today today they uh we need more jokes like this and, and some of the same jokes were in from the original right? yeah the yeah mm-hmm and they even got like a lot of like topics covered in this movie. Yeah. I again I will talk a little bit more, but again I don't want to get into spoil territory. Mm hmm Um but overall I think this one was really, really, really funny. The jokes yeah. like really hit on and all I have to say is stream it while you can because it's just worth it. I think streaming this movie is honestly worth it. Mm-hmm. It is definitely worth it. Definitely worth checking out if you're a Sasha Baron Cohen fan, Borat fan, um, and I think they also like they also made they made some like hidden jokes like in there. I don't want to give away like you know like some subliminal messages. Yeah. And like you know like some like you know like you know eye winkers like you know Easter mm -hmm. eggs in there too. Absolutely. There's a lot of Easter eggs and a lot of funny stuff in there that I think you'll really find fun. Like a crack up, like you'll get a crack a crack at it, a crack at it. Mm -hmm. So it's really funny. I loved it. Um, so was it as good as the first one? I'm not so sure. Uh, I think the mm -hmm. first one was a lot, a lot, like a funnier. Lot funnier. Um, the jokes were hit hard in the first one. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember like the first time I saw Borat with my mother like a couple weeks ago. This one was a lot different than the first one. The first one's more of a road trip movie, and him discovering like a, like coming to America. And like discovering, like you know, what America is about, like learning and things about America. Yeah, like American traditions. Like American traditions, American culture, and stuff. And um, like and and like just like the first one, just like you can't beat the first one, of course. Like the funny, like that scene with like you know, I don't want like if you haven't seen the first one, you you know the scene that I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. One. It's just a lot of funny things happen in this in the first one, and th this one was really funny too, though. But I think this one was like it's more based very, on this one. I think was like more based on politics. Yeah, this one. That's that what, one was based on politics too, though. But but this, this one, one I think is a little more political. Yeah, but that one was a little. This one's more sillier than the first one. The first one's always the first one is really silly too, but this one like takes it to a whole new level. I think. Yeah, a whole yeah. new level of really silly. Yeah. But I think I think we know like if you know Sasha Baron Cohen's humor, like I think he's trying to be like very very relevant. Yeah. Because this year we don't want to get into it. It's just really like ugh. Yeah, with the. But I think. I and think, they make a joke about the. Should I say it? Yeah. You can say it. Yeah, because it got featured in the trailer. You got, you got, you got featured in the trailer. They Basically, make a joke, this, they this, make a joke about coronavirus. Yeah, they make a like, joke about coronavirus, the president. The president, and that's all I'm gonna get. Yeah, give we don't want to give. We don't give any plot. We don't want to give any plots this away. Yeah.
But I think the reason why Sasha Baron Cohen like made this move right now was all because like as I said, 2020 has been an awful year. Yeah, and they need some more and more these, good movies. Yeah, they need some more out. movies like this to kind of make Comedies us laugh. Make a laugh. Yeah. Yeah, I think Sasha Baron Cohen did an excellent job of. Yeah, definitely. Anyways, let's get down to the ratings of the movie. Uh, the the. The, the, you know, the... The ratings. The ratings, yeah. Let's get down to the ratings of the of the, of the movie. What would you give this a, uh, as a rating? Okay. As like, um, out of ten, ten stars. Ten stars. Um, to be honest, I have to say eight out of ten. That's It's my final verdict because, as he said, I don't think it was as funny as the first one. Like, the first time I saw it with my mother and my friend, I really didn't laugh as hard. Because I thought the jokes were a little too political for me because I don't follow politics personally. But the one thing that I will love about this, which gave me 8 out of 10 rating, is the daughter. The daughter got a lot of character development. Like, she got, like, she came from this, like, box in the, in the beginning to, like, this weird, she see her go through this transformation and she is so gorgeous. Like... She was my favorite character throughout the movie because I honestly loved her, like, character development, how her wants to become a woman and what do women do. Mm -hmm. It's like, I think her, she's like, I think she's like a really character that I kind of personally re related to. There's a lot of heartwarming parts. A lot this. of heartwarming scenes between Bora and the daughter, yeah. so that's why it gave me eight, 8 out of 10 for me. Yeah, I would have to say, I was originally going to give it a set, 7 out of 10, but now I think more more that I think about it because it's more funny and it's more like heartwarming that I just had to give it an 8 out of 10 you know but not fully 10 because it still not, doesn't beat the first because the first one just always made me laugh and I just love I ever since I saw when I saw that in the theaters I was cracking up mm -hmm. you know I just love the first one so much oh me too and I love all Sasha Baron Cohen's movies ever since you know, Bor well, Borat was the first one, and then Bruno, and then the other ones after that. Um, I just love all his movies. They're so funny, but uh, mm -hmm. this movie was just really good. It's just as good as the first. It's pretty, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's as good as the first, but. I agree. But I just would, I really did like it a lot. You know, I definitely, I'll definitely own it. I definitely will mm -hmm. buy, get this when it comes out, but it's, it's not, it's not as good as the first, but I did like it a lot. I oh, definitely would check it out. If you get a Amazon Prime, definitely check it out. Eight out of ten. Definitely go check out Borat 2. Very nice. Very nice. Very mm -hmm. Mwah. Mwah. very very nice. Very nice. High five. High five. Yeah. And definitely go check out Borat too. Anyway, though, guys, hope you enjoyed this movie that we did. Thanks a lot for watching, for inspiring. And I also want to give a quick shout out because um, I, I I wanted to mention um, I want to give a quick shout out to my buddy Jose Otero on the sleeping his YouTube channel is the Sleeping Giant two zero nine nine. Um, he has a YouTube channel, uh, The Sleeping Giant 2099. Um, I, I'll put a link underneath this video for his YouTube channel. Um, he, he does uh, uh, podcasts, gaming videos and stuff, and, and uh, he works with my friend Will Collaz on movies and stuff, and, and I actually worked with him in uh, Blade Gun 2 and stuff. And I'm also giving him a shout out because I, I, um, he, he made me a cool new banner for my uh, YouTube channel, and he, and he c customized it and everything, which is really cool. And um, I hope you guys like that my new banner on my YouTube channel. So definitely check out his channel. Thank you, Jose. I really appreciate it. Definitely check out Sleeping Giant two zero nine nine, and definitely check out his channel. And give him all your support. Anyway, though, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching, for subscribing. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Please raise, subscribe. Hit that like button and uh, definitely go check out Borat too. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the vi the video. And uh, definitely check out Lisa on, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. Mm -hmm. Follow her on MeWe. Subscribe to her XX Mental Star XX yes. on YouTube. And thanks a lot for watching, for subscribing, and I'll see y'all later. Peace. Peace. Or say, say very nice. Yeah, very nice. It. It's nice. It's nice. Peace. Peace.